हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज रुंजय पटेल गाइज आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू सीरीज कॉल्ड अ कंप्लीट ट्यूटोरियल ऑन सर्विस नाउ अ कंप्लीट ट्यूटोरियल ऑन सर्विस नाउ इट मींस आई एम गोइंग टू कवर ऑल द रिक्वायर्ड टॉपिक व्हिच एवरी डेवलपर शुड नो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम अ गुड डेवलपर सर्विस नाउ डेवलपर देन द टॉपिक विच आई एम गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस सीरीज दैट इज मैंडेटरी टू नो राइट सो डोंट मिस एनी वीडियो फ्रॉम दिस सीरीज बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग टू कवर ऑल द टॉपिक राइट फ्रॉम अ स्क्रैच तो आई एल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट हाउ वी कैन ऑप्ट फॉर सर्विस नो इंस्टेंस सो यू इट मीन्स दैट फ्रॉम वेरी वेरी बेसिक लेवल टू एडवांस लेवल आई एल बी कवरिंग फ्रॉम दिस सीरीज फाइन एंड दिस सीरीज इज टोटली बेस्ड ऑन द लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ सर्विस नाउ दैट इज योर वॉशिंगटन डी सी फाइन सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट नाउ दैट वाट ऑल टॉपिक आई एम गोइंग टू कवर फ्रॉम दिस सीरीज फाइन सो मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट स्लाइड लेट्स डिस्कस फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव फ्रॉम दिस सीरीज so the first objective i have written down that you will get all the video from this series that will be the free of cost this is my youtube channel service now with runjay you can come over here and you will get all the video related to uh, this series under one playlist fine so you will not go here and there i'll be making a numbering from 1 to 3 like that so that you will not miss any video in between the second objective from this series is that after watching the entire series from this video uh, this series you will be in a position to clear your csa and cat exam that is for sure so i'll be discussing each and every topic in detail in upcoming videos third and last objective after completing this series you will be able to work on service now project independently so that is the main objective if you don't know anything about service now no worry just watch all the video from this series i am guaranteeing you that you will get a very good knowledge in service now fine so without wasting time let's move on to next slide and in this slide we will be discussing which all topic we will be covering from this series basically i am going to talk about the course content so as i said like i'll be discussing very very right from scratch means what is service now how we can use it how we can opt for personal dev instance that is called pdi in short how to log in in service now instance these all things i'll be discussing one by one fine so moving on to next slide what else i'll be covering so this uh, how we can create a user how we can create a group roles how we can assign a role to a particular group how we can assign a role to a particular users how we can do all this uh, admin activity that i'll be discussing fine moving on to next slide sorry so from this uh, i'll be discussing that how we can design a form list how we can create a table or how we can uh, create a application and module let's say if we want to create a, a separate application under the global application then how we can do so how we can do a personalize the form how we can create and delete attribute attribute means like a field how we can create a form section so there are so many things are involved uh, on the form related to form and list view so these all activity i'll be talking about uh, in details right moving on to next slide here now in this i'll be talking about the dictionary configuration how we can design a form how we can create a group and roles all these thing right granting a group and role to a specific users view how we can create a data source update sets so these all topic which i'm uh, discussing over here that is very very important to know by every developer 
fine so moving on to next slide that uh, in this i'll be uh, talking about uh, acl acl is the crucial part for data segregation like which data you want to showcase to which group uh, on that uh, scenario we will be using a uh, acl access control list so there are uh, types of acl like uh, whether we want to apply acl on the list whether we want to apply on the form at the table level field level so these all things i will be discussing in details in upcoming videos then i'll be talking about uh, client script all four types of client script i'll be talking about ui policy data policy what is the use of ui policy and client script when we can use a ui policy and client script uh, uh, when we can use a data policy what is the difference between amongst these three so these all things i'll be discussing in details in upcoming videos right moving on to next slide what else i'll be covering business rule i'll be covering this is also a uh, whenever we are dealing with uh, data at the server end uh, business rule will come into the picture so let's say uh, before uh, uh, inserting a data we want to perform some operation after inserting uh, what is async business rule what is display business rule so these all uh, type of business rule i'll be discussing uh, in details because these are the very very crucial things when you are dealing with data that you have to write a business rule right whenever you want to perform a crude operation create update delete all these things then a yeah, business rule will come into the picture what is ui action ui action is nothing but a button uh, which you can see on the form and the list view that how we can create and uh, what is the best way to create a ui action a script include again it's a server side a script i'll be discussing in details ajax when sometime uh, we may require to get data from server side to client side on that case we have to use a ajax call so these very very important topics are there for the every developers they should know moving on to next uh, slide i'll be talking about uh, email notification how we can trigger a email how we can uh, event based notification if you want to trigger email script how we can write a email script so this all notification i'll be talking about how many ways we can trigger the notification whether we want to trigger notification from uh, flow designer or workflow from business rule uh, even if we want to trigger from event queue so that's why i have written uh, event so that everything i'll be discussing in details data source when uh, if you are loading a data uh, through excel then uh, data source will come into pic picture right so now the next topic is like sla service level agreement so whenever you are uh, um, configuring a itsm module like incident change problem on that case so sla will come into the picture because you have to define a timeline that okay on this timeline you have to resolve the sla otherwise uh your sla will breach and then notification will go again uh, here also based on the percentage we have to trigger the notification so this is all i will be talking about schedule job how we can write a schedule a schedule job how um what is the purpose of uh, writing a schedule job this is all i'll be discussing workflow uh, and uh, flow designer so workflow i'll be covering a basics one because uh, nowadays like everyone is talking about a flow designer that is the best way to um writing any flow if you are dealing with the catalog item then instead of workflow i would suggest you to go with the flow designer that we will discuss why flow designer is beneficial than workflow that i'll be discussing moving on to next slide what else i'll be covering so service catalog that uh, i can give you the overview on the service catalog how we can create a catalog item how we can create a item categories how we can create a variables a variable set what is the use of variable set how we can associate a workflow or flow designer to any catalog item so these all i'll be discussing and also i'll be giving you the overview of request rtm and task how these are related to each other then i'll be discussing about uh, order guide what is the use of order guide client escaped catalog client escaped catalog you have escaped 
तो बेसिकली वंस आई विल कवर द क्लाइंट स्क्रिप्ट द प्लेटफॉर्म वन देन द यू विल बी सेल्फ यू विल कम टू नो दैट मीन्स हाउ वी कैन राइट अ कैटलॉग क्लाइंट स्क्रिप्ट इट काइंड ऑफ सिमिलर लाइक अ प्लेटफॉर्म वन फाइन सो मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट टॉपिक सॉरी नेक्स्ट Slide in this. I'll be talking about some reports and dashboard. How we can create a report. How we can share that report with a business owner, right? So that I'll be discussing in details. And then uh, I'll be discussing on overview on the mid server installation integration. I'll be discussing about this LDAP SSO email uh, web service uh, integration, basically REST API and a scripted REST API. let's say if you are doing a integration with any third party and they want to uh, use your um, endpoints then definitely you have to expose your api and on that case you might need a, a scripted rest api basically the custom api you might need to write from service now and how we can do so that i'll be discussing fine so and the next uh, i'll be talking about the itsm module over here that how we can uh, incident change problem and request this is a important one i would say uh, every developer should know when they are starting a career in service now so so far these many topic i'll be discussing and covering from this series and this is very much sufficient to become a good developer so once you will come to know that uh, how to write a um business rule script include uh, email notification sla th these everywhere uh, this uh, configuration and changes is required to be used in every module thank you so see you in the next video and uh, definitely if you will have any doubt uh, you can reach out to me over the telegram or you can directly comment on the video as well thank you thanks for watching